Shalom. Starting off by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. I want to say peace, safety, and much love and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting the life on the line to do so. I'm the brother of Rock from the GMS Atlanta Church, back with another lesson through the Spirit, Lord willing to be edifying. And in this particular lesson, I'm going to go into uh, the deep fake technology because I ran across a video that I'll be playing in this lesson as well. Uh, I believe it was uh, CBS News, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, like I said, I'll play the clip. Now, deep fakes um, or deep fake, I'll, I'll just go ahead and read it. It says, um, I really want to skip to the point. All right. Um, it says, it's a technology for human image, image uh, synthesis based on artificial intelligence. It is used to combine and super, some, some pros, superimpose. Uh, existing images and videos until source images or videos using machine learning technology called a uh, generative adversal network the phrase deep fake was coined in 2017 it says because of these capabilities deep fakes have been used to create fake celebrity uh, pornography videos or revenge porn deep fakes can also be used to create fake news and malicious hoax all right and uh i want to get into the the ability of these deep fakes to uh create fake news and malicious hoax all right because um uh, as we know esau is the goddamn uh master of propaganda and this could be just one um uh, one area of technology that he can use you know to come up against us you know and falsely accuse us okay uh, because we'll be uh, found blameless in that day when the persecution does come all right so he'll have to uh, come up with something to uh, to, to deem us uh, evil okay to deem us uh, terrorist or whatever you know the case may be and using this deep fake technology you know uh he could do so because uh i've seen it and it's uh you you can't really tell uh the original video from the uh the fake one all right and using this uh deep fake technology you can have brothers saying all kind of crazy things you know and putting it putting it out there in the public you know to make the the, the masses of the people uh, uh, turn against us, but we all know that it's the, the, the will of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai, and that you know uh, the world is gonna come against us because we're out here proclaiming, you know, the truth, and uh, you know, just just bringing out the raw, uncut, unadulterated truth, man. All right, and and we're uh, telling Esau he's the devil. We're, we're calling out the elites. All right, and and this devil uh, knows. You know that he uh, that he has but a short time. All right, so he's gonna come down with great wrath, as the scriptures tell you. Okay, this is uh, I'll start off in Second Timothy. This is Second Timothy three and verse twelve. It says, "Yea, all that will live godly in a mashi in a mashiach Yahweh Shai shall suffer persecution." All right, so if we if we're living godly. You know, and out here prophesying the downfall of America, you know, uh, teaching our people what the mark of the beast is, so on and so forth. All right. Trying to uh, uh, show our people their transgression. You know, that's living godly. All right. So if you're doing that, the scriptures tell you, you know, you will uh, suffer persecution. All right. So just know it's coming. We're in the time right now where it's really the heat is not that bad. You know, it was a couple of months ago they had the. Uh, was that uh the name escaped me but basically it was the little edomite against the native uh so-called native american uh, uh guy uh at the little trunk rally then they had the israelites out there you know uh cursing cursing the edomite out you know and, and the heat kind of revved up then you know they was trying to deem you know us israelites in a bad light 
you know, but now that shit has died down. That was just that was that was child's play, man. It's gonna come where you, where you'll have uh, you're gonna be snatched up, you know, uh, uh, your family, uh, UN troops kicking in your door, you know, if the Lord see, sees it necessary for you to go through that. All right, it's gonna get bad out here. Okay, so back to uh, you know the deep fakes technology. I'm gonna play this clip real quick and uh, show you brothers how how uh, good this technology is. You know, uh, to the point where it can make you seem like you know you're saying something that you're really not, or you're doing something that you really aren't. Okay. And the infrastructure that creates good new jobs. See, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address, but someone else would. Someone like Jordan Peele. It's sort of learning to recreate that person's face by looking at the thousands of images over and over and over. <laughs> Like a lot more research than you would think would uh, would go into making a goofy video or something like that. Truly surprising for me. Um, yeah, I, I was just really surprised. I didn't do any after touching on that video. I was just using the technology that was available from the machine learning side. is you don't have to know how to program in python none of that matters you pay somebody 20 bucks and they'll create the fate for you that's a bit of a game changer you know the everyday person that who the deep fake sex video emerges in a google search of your name where for that person it becomes almost impossible to debunk So yeah, man, there's just you know a short clip of what this devil is up to, man. Um, recreating uh, images and putting that personal spin on it, man. All right, and that's just. But uh, the scriptures tell you um, that we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. All right, so we bring out things like this, you know, and put it out there, you know, through the spirit uh, that 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 we may not put out misinformation you know that we're calling this devil out on all levels you know leaving no stone unturned but then again we have these people out here that don't uh or think it's too much work to do a little research and they take everything for face value so it's going to be easy to sway the public you know when it comes to uh persecuting the men of the lord because they're not gonna want to uh or do any research or try to uh uh give us the benefit of the doubt hey they're gonna take esau word for what it is they could they could be done knowing you uh all your life all right your family members your friends all right they're gonna come against you too because they're gonna uh ultimately uh believe this devil and whatever he has uh to come out with on the persecution level okay but that's why you got to be found without spot and blemish you can't be out here doing all kind of uh manner of wickedness around these people because when these things do arise you know it'll be believable all right you want to be uh you want to be a person that you know when people hear certain things about you they'll be like nah man not not that brother uh rock or or, or whatever the case may be you know that's why we gotta walk uh we gotta walk godly amongst the ungodly okay and let that light show forth through us okay uh, this is John chapter 15 And verse 18 It says if the world hate you Ye know that it hated me before it hated you Alright So they hated our Lord and Savior man And ult ultimately persecuted him And, and slew him and hang him upon uh, That cross man <laughs> Alright And, and uh, 
brought up all kind of false accusations against him, came against him, you know, even his own, man. Hey, Judas Iscariot, he betrayed the Lord, all right? And that's how it's going to be with our people, too. You know, the people that you that you grew up with, your family members, your brothers, sisters, aunts, or whatever, okay? But just know that the world hated Yahweh Shai first, all right? So what more us, all right? And he's the Lord and Savior. Verse uh, 19, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not, because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hate, hate, hateth you. All right. So if we were out here, you know, uh, dead or, or the walking dead, like our people, you know, they're they're revilers, they'll they'll love us as 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 their own, but we're not. All right. So we'll be hated. You know. This is uh, Matthew 5 and verse 10. It says, Bless are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. All right? So so count it as a blessing, man, when, when persecution comes. Don't necessarily take it as a bad thing. All right? Because it has to happen. All right? For, in order for the scriptures and, and, the, and the prophecies to manifest and take place. So like your persecution is just part of the walk all right you took you've taken up and, and bear your own cross this comes with it man it comes with the territory all right eleven blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my for my sake all right and I was just using that uh, bringing out that deep fake technology as one of the ways they will uh, possibly come up against the men of the Lord uh, falsely. Okay, verse twelve: Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. All right, so our, our forefathers were persecuted as well. The prophets, you know, or if we are those men reincarnated, we were persecuted in our past life. All right, so what more now? Okay. So, a, a be prepared to be persecuted, man. Uh, <clears throat> the Lord has chosen you, you know, to, to um, take up this walk, you know, and, and prophesy in his name. All right. You want to do that, but you don't think you're going to suffer uh, persecution the scriptures tell you you know multiple times all throughout the scriptures all right that persecution shall come okay so 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 be so be ready and be willing all right and you know that's when your faith is really going to be tested because like i said right now there's really not too much going on out here you know as far as the normal uh uh jake uh, or our people talking shit you know and, and, and looking at us as, as fools But hey that ain't shit Compared to what's gonna happen Okay I got one more precept and then I'm gonna close it out This is uh Luke 6 And 22 Blessed are ye when men shall hate you And when they shall separate you From their company and these last Uh Two verses are in red letters, man. This is your shot speaking. All right, this is this is you getting it uh, out the horse's mouth, so to speak. You know, straight from your shot man. Not third-party information. It's coming straight out your shot's mouth that you're gonna be persecuted. Okay. So Luke six and twenty-two. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil. For the sons of man say, hey, and that's what they're gonna do. So be prepared, Akin. Okay? So Lord willing this lesson was edifying, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash, Shalawan.